Merry Christmas! Hello, Christina! I didn't know what to expect of Greece at Christmas. It's not really the first place you think of when you think of Christmas, but there's still things that are cool that I was excited to see. Like, you see all of these lit boats behind us in Hanya, and it's just like, instead of stringing up a Christmas tree, they string up the boats. And then what was really special this year is we thought we were just gonna spend Christmas in Hanya, but we got a last second invitation from your parents who were coming to visit us to go see them in Athens. That was a really cool opportunity. I was in Athens over a decade ago for Christmas, and it was really cool to be able to go back. Katina, that was 16 years ago. I said over a decade. <laughs> I was in Athens to celebrate Christmas with a, a group of Greek everything. It's like Greek Americans, Greek Zimbabweans, Greek South Africans, Greek Canadians. And I was able to experience Christmas in Greece for the first time. It was really cool to be able to go back to Athens, but this time with my parents. I haven't seen my parents in five months, and I've been so excited about surprising them, not really surprising them, but about wow. greeting them here in Hanya. <laughs> and instead, they surprised us with a trip to Athens and we got to see them in Athens over the Christmas season, which was very special. Yeah, it was cool, and they literally surprised us. I was planning on surprising them. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got a place to surprise them, candid camera, and then they snuck up on us, so I missed the initial moment, but it was a really cool thing to have that. Um, and they were so happy to see you, and also <laughs> so happy to have surprised us and snuck up on us. I'm not sure what joy we're seeing, but it's there. Athens is not one of these European cities where you see tons of Christmas markets, thousands of people huddled in these markets, but it does have a really beautiful scenery, a really beautiful setup. Of course, there's some Western influence, a lot of Western influence anywhere these days when it comes to Christmas. I think that's something I like because that is something I miss about home. But while you do hear a lot of American Christmas music from the stores and in the restaurants, when we actually saw street performers, they were singing Greek Christmas tunes, which was cool to see that. Syntagma Square was decorated really cool and beautiful. They had the tree. It lit up right as we got there <laughs> um, somehow. Not only your parents were there, but your mom's cousin was there. That was absolutely amazing. And I think something that is very interesting that you even talk about is like the integration of Western culture and Greek culture. Historically in Greece, you didn't have Christmas trees. Like that really wasn't a big thing. But instead what you did was have Christmas boats and families would even decorate boats to put inside of their homes because we're in the United States and in other areas of the world, Santa comes down in the chimney. In Greece, Santa comes on a boat. Well, if you live on an island, why would he not come on a boat? Why wouldn't he come on a boat? Perfect. Something else that I find to be very interesting in Greece, Christmas isn't about gift giving or gift receiving. It's about being with the people that you love and doing things that you enjoy together. Typically, it is a meal, it is a card game, it is enjoying wine. While we are beginning the celebrations a bit earlier, especially when you think about the Western influence of Christmas, but the real celebrations don't even start until Christmas Day. Yeah, and we'll see what that is. But for now, we really enjoy seeing Greece as what it is. There are so many places that we would love to experience at Christmas time. I see a lot of cool Christmas villages in the north where it actually snows in Greece. And one big thing about Greek culture is wishes. And you always wish someone a good day, a good continuation, a good journey, a good whatever. And when you, that's how you say bye, is usually <laughs> good, insert whatever good. Insert you, your wish. Right now. And <laughs> in Volos, they have this incredible Lanterns of Wishes. We haven't seen it, it's on our bucket list. And I mean, that would be absolutely incredible. But there's just so much that's cool about Christmas in Greece. I don't think it's necessarily the Christmas destination, but it's still worth being here. And actually what's really cool about Hanya is that there are so many fewer people here than usual, but it feels calm and quaint and it's beautiful. I think it's cool to be very real and not a destination, but also still celebrate the holiday in a cool way. 
We were just recently able to travel to Germany and be able to see a lot of the Christmas markets, which was something that was absolutely phenomenal and I loved seeing that. But what I love about here in Greece is you have the wholesomeness of Christmas. You have simplicity of Christmas, which I absolutely love. But you see things like the boats behind us that are so simplistically decorated. I just, I love the fact that it can feel so special and so Christmas without needing the crowds, the everything that a lot of other places will put into making it feel like Christmas. We're here, you feel peace, and that is what Christmas really is. Greece as a home at Christmas is a great place to be. It is a really nice place to just sit, relax, and enjoy the Christmas season. Yeah, and we have family, and we have beauty, and I really am looking forward to this entire Christmas season. And Merry Christmas from us at Becoming Greek to you, and thank you so much for watching and subscribing and supporting this new passion project of ours. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It really means a whole lot to us that you are following us and watching our videos. Kala Christuyena! Pamestin Alada!